What's up everybody? Uh, super excited right now because I just went downstairs to pick up my new video micro road mic and then my good buddy Eric Chu. What's up bro? Yeah. <laughs> he had sent over for my birthday. It's like a month away but still. I have the, I think it's called the purple panda right now. It was okay but I would love to compare and make a test video and use this bad boy out. Alright. I'm about to shoot with Suda for another project. We're gonna go to Union Square, do some yoga, I'm gonna do a little bit more footage, but I'm also gonna interview her again to get a little bit more quality um, conversation. And the last time I used the Purple Panda lavalier mic and connected it, connected, connected it to the iPhone because for some reason it didn't work with the a 7 III. I put it in both holes uh, on the camera and um, it didn't work out, so I had to put it on the iPhone. I think the quality was okay, I mean, judge for yourself, but I'm um, really excited that my good friend got me one of these guys. Um, the, the video, the micro video? Road mic? Road mic video. One of those. Um, and I really want to test it out, uh, see how it does in windy conditions. Um, and it's San Francisco, man, it's super windy over here. So I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna use this as well so I can get backup audio and right now I'm shooting actually without either one of these and because it's so quiet in here, I'm pretty sure you can hear me very clearly and this is what I've been using before but now that I have this, I have this, let's go test it out. This test is more like a vlog style where I have the shotgun mic up there and I actually have my purple panda lavalier mic down here um, I'm recording on one and I'm actually using the what is it, Video Mic Pro. Video Mic Pro? I, I keep forgetting what it is. Anyway, so I'm outside. I thought it'd be a lot windier here, but it's really not windy at all. But I hope the footage is clear. I hope the sound is clear. Um, there's some ocean sounds over here, real soothing. There's people working out over there. There's kids over here. I know yesterday's footage with Suda was a little bit different. Um, there's some people yelling on the side and stuff like that. So um, I think what I'm gonna go, what I'm gonna go do now is uh, try to find some place that has a little bit more wind. Okay, it is crazy loud over here. We got buses going every which way. We got dogs running around, howling, barking. We got cars beeping, the wind is windy above me. Oh, it's, oh, here we go, here we go. Um, and it's just, man, it's bustling, man. And if you can hear me through all of this, I, I think we got a winner on which one to get. <sighs> Forgive me, I'm a little bit winded. frozen foods and um and yeah so I mean the wind is picking up we got the bus terminal right over there we got we got people running around and it's rush hour it's time to go home which is exactly what I'm about to do meet up with my good friend Eric Ian, grab some food at Nopa, live like a king, go back to my Trader Joe's frozen foods, and we'll see how it goes. Alright. Oh. Okay, let me um, see. It was actually through my dad. He's crazy about everything natural, like natural healing and yoga and meditation. So every time I'd uh, wake up when I was little, he'd actually be on the sofa with his hips up on the sofa, kind of like, like a Sarvangasana, like a shoulder stand, but a modified one, which is supposed to help you um, go to the bathroom in the morning. So he would do it every morning, uh, but he wouldn't do other types of yoga, but he was really into basically natural healing 
and yoga. He used to get, when we used to live in India, when I was little, he used to have a teacher come to the house to teach my mom yoga. So that was like, I guess, my exposure to it, the physical part of yoga. Um, but really, I didn't get serious into yoga until I was in New York, doing a million things. And I did a beginner's course in Shivananda Yoga. It's like 12 classes. And during one of them towards... So I think what's really important to note is that yoga really is meant for everyone. And many people think that it's, you know, if you're flexible or skinny or because of all the images that we see. And, and that's, <laughs> that's really unfortunate because, you know, it's really about anybody being able to or everybody being able to just sit comfortably, close your eyes, be able to travel inward. And the only reason we do all the postures is so that you can sit comfortably, you know, and, and go inward. So if you can do that already, you can go into meditation. There's no need necessarily to do all the, the post postures. Yeah, so I think, I, I think that's something I'd really like people to note, that it is for everyone, and meditation is part of yoga, and everyone can meditate and everyone can do yoga. Looking arbitrarily at a wall like this and talking is a little bit, might make it look a little fake. Okay, so now that I'm done with the tests, uh, I can look. I look back at all the footage, the edits, the sounds, um, and when I'm comparing the Video Micro Road mic and the Purple Panda Lavalier, I would honestly say that I like the Lavalier quality of sound because I can always hear whoever's speaking. Um, I think the the Video Micro Road mic, the the actual sound of my voice sounds better. I guess that's just a preference. It's I feel like it's less airy. It's a little bit more um, full and in depth. The lavalier mic is it seems a little bit airy, but it could be that especially in the test that I had, it was a little bit too low. Uh, I should have put it maybe on my collar or even at the top button, and that way I could hear the voice a lot more clear. Um, now this one did not pick up as much ambient noise as the video micro row mic, oddly. Um, and if you notice that in highly windy conditions, the lab mic really outperformed the video micro road mic. Um, even at times I couldn't, it, it was so, it was so scratchy. So I mean, and I couldn't even hear anything at all. And I would say the only con for the Purple Panda is that it, it really didn't work with the a7 III. However, it works really well with the iPhone. I just have the recorder app. I tried a bunch of different apps, but honestly, I think the recorder app was the best. It, you can seamlessly just airdrop it to your MacBook, and the, the file name that comes out is actually the date and I believe the time that it was, it was recorded. So that's perfect when you want to sync the audio with the video because the video is going to have the time that it was recorded. You can just uh, compound the clips, sync it, and have the sounds match whatever video you have. For the most part, it worked for me when I did it in post, but uh, one or two times it didn't work. But it's pretty easy to kind of sync it together um, and just put it underneath each other and just make sure that the, it doesn't look like a cheap dubbing Chinese film. It's not racist or anything, but I mean, that's how it was before. Like Jackie Chan, Drunken, Drunken Master. Anyway, um, so yeah, obviously you should probably get both of these eventually, but maybe start off with the Purple Panda because it is, I think it's like $21. A pretty good starter pack. You can use it on an iPhone, you can use it on anything, even the laptop I recorded um, another video with. And then maybe get this later because it's a little bit more expensive. I mean, it's not that much more expensive, but um, you know, to me, I feel like the lab mic was a lot more uh, 
I was more confident in the lab mic that it would pick up the audio versus the video Rode mic pro I wasn't really sure if it was um, how the performance was going to be but it turned out when it catches the sound it's, it's really good so I'm going to continue to test with both of these I'm sure something's going to be better for the lab something's going to be better for the video mic pro or maybe it's just better to have the the in-body sound I, I like how how this brings in the audio as well and you know what I mean if you guys have any tips on audio design how to improve the quality of the sound removing all the background noise I would love to hear it because I did a lot of research and people just say to click on the noise reduction or the hum reduction button and it, it really like made it sound worse so any advice on there uh, that'd be great so thanks for watching and any suggestions any improvements um, send them my way thank you Bye.